a little pin on the bottom of the cup to pierce the wide side of each egg. Fill up your egg cooker and then fill up your cup with the right amount of water for the number of eggs you have. Then you just pour the water right onto the heating plate, put the lid on, and turn the machine on. And then you just have to wait for the little chime and your eggs are done. Why do you pierce eggs? That's a great question. Have you noticed when you get your eggs home from the grocery store, they're always wide side up? That's because there's a little pocket of air in that side of the egg. When we use the pin to prick the eggs, it's going to do three things by releasing that air. One, it's going to make the egg easier to peel. Two, it's going to prevent the egg from cracking under the heat. And three, it will make it so you don't cook an egg with a flat side on the top. While these eggs are cooking, let me talk about the egg cup. Now, if you've got a large egg cooker, it will come with a large egg cup. And if you read the side, you might be thinking, why does it take less water to cook more eggs? I know it's confusing, but it's physics which are confusing. Less eggs take up less space, which means there needs to be more steam to cook them. Make sense? Speaking of science, if you live at a high altitude, then water is going to boil at a lower temperature, which means you might need slightly more water to cook your eggs. My eggs are done. Now that they're finished cooking, I would suggest putting them in some cold water, which will stop the cooking so you get really yellow yolks. It's also going to make them slightly easier to peel. That's a perfect egg. <laughs> and that's